Hey guys, I'm Nicole Roby, the host of Girl Gone Geek Podcast here on the DNN Network, and today we're going to check out a zombie killing sensation, Left 4 Dead. This game, a collaboration between Valve and Turtle Rock Studios, hit the scene at the height of the zombie craze in November of 2008 on Xbox 360, PC, and iOS systems. This game is a first-person shooter where a band of four protagonists or survivors fight their way from safe house to safe house through hordes of undead brain-eating corpses. Providing a movie-like co-op playthrough, Left 4 Dead gained popularity for its replayability, sparking Valve to resurrect the idea into a second version of the game, Left 4 Dead 2, in November of 2009. Now, let's cover the plot of this flesh-eating phenomenon. An infectious outbreak hits Pennsylvania, called the Green Flu, causing a nasty contagion that triggers aggression, mutation of cells, and loss of higher brain function. Two weeks after the first infection, four immune survivors arise and band together, encountering even more violent mutations. You play as your choice as one of the four survivors. Bill, a Vietnam vet. They're changing. Zoe, a college student. Lewis, an IT analyst. I can't believe we made it. Son, we just crossed the street. And Francis, an outlaw biker. While these characters may seem a little generic and cheesy, the game is action-packed and worth a playthrough. The main objective, make it to the next safe house alive. Sounds easy enough, right? We'll add in a variety of zombies with unique terrifying skills and only crude weapons and firearms with limited ammo available to you makes the game not quite that simple. Now, let's cover the more terrifying violent mutated creatures. First off, we have the Boomer. This bloated vile creature projectile vomits blinding bile in your direction that in turn draws in more infected. One key thing to remember about this guy, shoot him at a distance. As the name suggests, he explodes or goes boom, spraying bile in the immediate area as one last ditch effort to make your life a living hell. Next up we have the tank. This large juggernaut mutant is a big brute. Avoid this guy's arms at all costs because they will literally knock you on your ass. In a Hulk-like fashion, he also throws large cars, rocks, and other big items in your direction. Killing this guy is definitely going to be a team effort, so make sure you utilize your co-op to your advantage. Leaving the most terrifying for last, we have the Witch. This lady is going to haunt your nightmares. An infected female with long claws who is best to be avoided. When you hear her blood-chilling cries in the distance, tread carefully, be silent, and watch where you shine your light. This witch is sensitive to light and sound, and as you near her, you will hear the ominous music in the background. This feisty fear factory is the strongest of all the infected, harnessing the ability to kill a survivor in one blow. Take my word on this one, avoid her, and just let her cries haunt your dreams. You know, some of my favorite parts are the versus mode that's available online where you can actually play as one of the infected. Each player is assigned a mutation type apart from the witch, which is still computer generated. This portion is all about ambush and attracting other infected. If you do get killed, you will respawn until the survivors either reach the safe house or get killed off. The cool thing about this that I like is that you actually have secret paths that are only exclusive to people who are infected. Stuff like pipes, air ducts, vines that make your ambushes a little bit easier. A little fun fact about this game is that in the early stages of development, there was actually a fourth infected called the Screamer. This character was in a straitjacket and wouldn't actually attack, but he would run and hide and then scream, which would draw in more infected to the area. Directors actually found this to be too stressful in crowd settings, so they actually removed him from the game. Uh, if this guy is actually worse than the witch, I'm glad that I never crossed his path. So if you're a horror or zombie enthusiast, like first person shooters, or just want something to play with your friends around the Halloween season, then this is your game. Already a Left 4 Dead fan, then you're already aware of the game's replayability and the rumors of Left 4 Dead 3 coming to a console soon near you. So grab some friends, play some more rounds of Left 4 Dead 1 or 2, and get into the Halloween spirit. If you like this video, check out the other horror video game recommendations in our countdown list. If you can't get enough horror, Halloween, or geeky things, check out my podcast, Girl Gone Geek, available on iTunes or at DestinationComics.com. Please rate and subscribe to all media outlets and keep coming back for more.